safe side I am gonna go ahead and change out the factory coolant I'm just gonna replace it with a normal 50 50 mix of just regular green coolant that I bought at my local auto parts store this should be a super quick video I'm gonna walk you through the steps what you need to do how I'm gonna do it how I'm gonna flush it out you know how much you need to fill it back up with and that sort of thing so, so there is a hose that runs right here to the bottom of the radiator. You can pull this off, but I feel like it's just going to drain the radiator. I don't see how it can drain all these other lines out this, because this seems to be not the lowest point. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to pull the hose off the back by the water pump as much drain out as we can. We'll dump some water through it, let that water kind of flush if there's anything left in there out. And just fill it back up. Make sure it comes up to temp, the fan kicks on, uh, you know, make sure we don't have any air in our hoses, that sort of thing. Let's get to it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this lower windshield. I don't really have one of these things. Shield, and I'm going to remove the hood. The way I remove my hood is I get my fingers up on either side of where the CF Moto logo is. And I'm just pop it straight up. Your pins sit about right here. Um, so sometimes pulling up on the front will cause this middle to bow up and actually cause these to snap. Something that CF Moto is aware of. I know that Aaron Boyd had his taken care of under warranty, and I'm sure a few other people probably have as well. But we're going to pull the hood off, open. cap for the actual coolant. Coolant looks good, smells awful. Um, and I mean, this is cold, it hasn't been driven at all today. And uh, this, let me show you, it's like full, full. So yeah, it's full. Now we're gonna move to uh, like the middle of the vehicle. Um, the water pump is right underneath where the oil filter and stuff is. So we're gonna remove that bottom hose from where the water pump is, uh, that bottom coolant line, and uh, hopefully everything drains out. So this bottom coolant hose right here, it actually runs into the water pump. This is your water pump. This is your water pump right behind this right here. Um, so I'm going to pull this off. I think you can use either a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen up this clamp. We're going to pull it off and hopefully it all drains out. I was already cool pouring out of it, so. Alright, I'm gonna 
grab some towels real quick. That's still coming out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour um, a little bit of water through here. And just make sure we have all that old antifreeze flushed out. Uh, down there, it won't drain it. It drains really weird. It drains to the other passenger, or to the driver's side. Not that way for some reason. Not that way, absolutely not. Let's see. Reconnect this hose. Let's Now we fill her up. Okay, so now it's time to fill it up. I checked the book just to make sure I was telling you guys correctly. It says the capacity for the coolant is 4.9 liters, and I'm in America, so I have no idea what a liter is. So I punched it into Google, and it tells me it's just under 1.3 gallons. So a little more than one and a quarter, but not by much. We're gonna go ahead and fill this up. Um, we'll have to start it, kind of let it run through its cycle, make sure it's, you know, burped and got all the air out of it. And then uh, once it's full, we'll put all the caps back on, we'll start it up, let it get up to temperature, let the fan kick on, do the whole thing, see if we need to add any or see exactly where we're at. So before we fill this thing up, something else that needs to be done. You can see I've taken the seat out right back in here. But right back in here, you have this hose that comes off your radiator, and it runs, I don't know if you're even going to be able to see it, it runs right back here to where it feeds into the head. Well, right there, this little part that's sticking out, I don't know if you can see that where my finger is, it's an 8 millimeter bolt, and that is your bleed screw, right? So. We're gonna back that out. And then there's another one. And I don't know, and I'll ch if I can't see, I'll try to point it out in the video. But there is another bleed screw right back here. See that sticking out? Right there with the white line on it? That's your other one. So we're gonna loosen both of those. Start filling it up with coolant until we see the coolant leaping out of those. We'll close those off and go to the next step. Um, the way I got to it, I removed this seat, I removed this back panel. There's four screws, it kind of has a little uh, tabs that fit in on either side. So I just twisted it and set it down there. So I'm going to get the back one out and then we're going to fill it up. Now that we have the bleeder screws out, we're going to go ahead and uh, fill it up with our 50-50 mix. And just like a car, we're going to continue to fill it up, squeeze on those hoses. Okay, so now we're going to start it. And add coolant as necessary. Okay, so I bled it, burped it a little bit more, it has kicked on through one heat cycle, and uh, the fan came on, cooled it down, and shut it off. So I'm going to let it run and make sure that happens again. And if all is well, we'll put the panel back on, the seat back in, and pull it outside, and rinse everything off, and it will be done. Okay, so the fan just kicked on.
of it, and we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, and there you have it. It's just that simple, just that easy. I do apologize for the audio in today's video. My uh, mic that I usually wear is dead, and uh, so I just have a little cheap mic up on top of my camera. But I let it sit in here, come up, get up to temperature. I waited for the fan to kick on, make sure it cooled back off. And then I actually pushed it, well, then I actually pushed it outside so I could rinse off everywhere that antifreeze had gotten. While it sat outside, I went ahead and started it again. Let it run, make sure the fan kicked on, make sure the machine cooled back off, and make sure that the fan kicked off. And everything's working flawlessly, it's good to go. So. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers. If you can, please leave a like and comment down below. Know what kind of stuff you want to see. As of right now, we are sitting at 2,670 subscribers. So 80 more subscribers will be at 2,750 and it will be time to give away the clutch kit. If you want to know how to win the clutch kit, I'll link the video right here. Go watch it. Follow the instructions that are in the description. Be entered to win a clutch kit for Main Street Cycle. So you have a full service kit for Main Street Cycle on its way. I'm like 40 miles or so from 1500. So I'm going to go through and do everything. Uh, we'll do front and rear diff. We'll do transmission. We'll do engine. Um, we've already done coolant. If there's anything else in it I can change, I will. So, uh, thank you guys very much, and have a wonderful day, and we will see you in the next video.